After 10 seasons on the air, the groundbreaking CBS drama CSI crime scene investigation is still a great mix of mystery and science with an ensemble cast led by Emmy winner Marg Helgenberger. We could be looking at our murder weapon. So this woman's been searching for her son all these years with the exact same flashlight that was used to kill him? If Janet Marsh was in possession of the murder weapon, that makes her the only suspect. Wait a minute now, I've met the woman, and it's very tough to fake grief like that. Well, guilt can masquerade as grief. And there's a lot of people who express remorse after committing a homicide. If this were the father that we were talking about and not the mother, what would we be thinking then? And Catherine herself, Marg Helgenberger, is here with us live this morning. Good morning, Marg. Good morning, Maggie. Welcome back. Thank you. Nice to be here. And congrats. Ten seasons in, and the show just had one of its most creative seasons yet. How did they do it, and how do you do it, staying so enthusiastic? Oh, you know, I I'm, uh, never lose sight of how fortunate I am to have this job, in, uh, and not just in this economy, but just as an actor. I mean, this is one of these jobs that very few actors get the opportunity to be on a... A show that's like had this kind of a run, but mm -hmm. also still has maintained its quality, and that I just attribute to just a wonderful group of writers, directors, crew, cat. I mean, just the the sum of its parts, I mean, and we all still really care about it, sincerely really care about it. Wonderful cast that last season included Lawrence Fishburne. The last time that you were here, he was taking over for William Peterson. That's right. He hit the yes. ground running. He has been yes. a hit. Yes, he's been great. I mean, I was so excited when he was uh, cast um, because I've been a big fan of his for quite a long time. And, and he just really like was undaunted by stepping into Billy Peterson's shoes, and um, as he should be, you know, he's <laughs> certainly earned a, all of his merit. And, um, and just, but, you know, has seen every single episode, actually. He watched every sing single DVD collection. I can't <laughs> say, claim that. And he's um, just fun and easy and cool and, you know, all that. He's great. I want, I want a little hint because a few weeks ago you did an episode where your character uh, has a love interest that looks like. Is this going to turn into a full-blown affair with Detective Varden? Knowing CSI the way I know CSI, no. We Aww, do things in a very darn. subtle way. I could be wrong. <laughs> But I, yeah, I'm thrilled that we uh, have a love interest on the show. I've sort of been begging for one for a few seasons now. They finally like, you know, okay, we'll let you, we'll let you have a little fun. And he's been great, Alex Carter, who plays Detective Vartan. He's cool. Yeah. I know that in addition to being very busy with work, you're also an advocate for breast cancer and breast cancer awareness and prevention. And you're active in the Revlon Run Rock. Why is that? Why is that such well, an my, important cause? My mother, Kay Snyder, is a 30-year breast cancer survivor, and I've done so many uh, charity fundraising events oh, for the past, gosh, 20 years, I believe it's been now. Um, in fact, this uh, coming, well, I'm sorry, on May 8th, I'm co-hosting the Revlon Walk for a Cure, which in Los Angeles, I think the one in New York is this weekend, mm -hmm. and it's, it's kind of a big deal throughout the country. So encourage people to go out and participate. It's, you know, the money all goes to a very, very worthy cause. And you, do you have big summer plans? I know you wrapped the show already. Um, I'm still sort of figuring that out. You know, I would like to travel and um, just trying to work out schedules and uh, with my son and someone else and, and um, it'll, it'll happen. All right, well enjoy and thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Mark Helgenberger. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.